welcome to Hua Wen Lao Shi. This is the one channel that gives you tips, tricks, and insights to preparing for your Chinese exams. Now today, I am going to share with you the five mistakes that students make when they prepare for their exam. Have you ever wondered why some of your peers can begin writing their essay question much faster than you do? Perhaps it's the way that they are using the tools that you are not. O levels may have many difficult words that we cannot understand. Hence, we need to deploy our e dictionary. For example, sometimes we may have more than one word that we need to check the e dictionary. Today, let me show you the difference between using an e dictionary with stylus and using the e dictionary by combing through all the different parts of a character. As you can see, checking e-dictionary with a stylus helps us quicken the process of finding the meanings of the words that we do not understand. This in turn will give you more time to finish up your essay and win you some time to read them after. With limited time that we have for preparation for our exams, Intentionally practicing the right thing is important. Break down into themes that you often see in exam papers. For example, volunteerism, environmental issues, parent-child relationship, etc. And for each team, list down 10 words that you think you will use for these teams. And sometimes these words may interlink with other teams and you can use them as well. So with 10 topics, 10 words for each topics, you have effectively accumulated 100 vocabularies or idioms for the different themes that you have a lot higher chances of using them in your essays. Many times I see students asking very vague questions to their peers or teachers, hence it's hard for them to help out too. For example, some students may ask, how do I improve my grades? Or, how do I improve Chinese? Well, when we ask very general questions, we get very general feedback. So the teacher may say, you can read more or watch more Chinese dramas and that will help you improve. But this advice is hardly useful if you only have a short time span to prepare for your exam. I used to really struggle with beginning an essay. So I would ask questions like, how can I begin an essay quickly and efficiently? What are the five ways that I can use to begin an essay? When asking specific questions, we really dive deep into what we do not know, what we don't understand, and improve strategically on the areas of our weaknesses. Many students are mindlessly practicing the 10-year series. When I'm practicing essay questions in TYS, I would really want to take a look at what kind of trends has been going on in O-levels. One thing I can do is to lump all the similar themed essay together and identify the different theme that often comes out. Or another example could be when I look at all the questions, I categorize them into different question types and decide how to really answer those questions. So, in practicing your TYS more mindfully, you can actually spot trends, question types, themes, and maybe you can help, it can help you narrow down your focus on how you want to prepare for it. Many students find themselves not being able to finish the papers in time, hence leave out chunks of marks and unfinished questions with loads of blanks. This can be easily resolved. Just make sure that when you are practicing in your daily preparation, you timed yourself and stick by the time. If not, 
really understand what components made you slow down. For example, when writing an essay, it is always better to be done than perfect. So you can work towards shortening the way that you describe things, taking away some of the components that you waste a lot of time on, and finish up the essay quickly within the time you set for yourself. To set yourself up for success, you really need to use the right tool, know how to manage your time properly, break things up into teams, and come up with simpler ways to accumulate all your memorization, ask specific questions when seeking help, and spot trends in the past questions. Share with me about your struggles in your exam preparation in the comments section below. In the next video, I will be sharing on the five misconceptions students have on Chinese O-level exams. If you are keen to hear more about that, remember to click on the notification bell. Good luck and I wish you all the best for your efforts in preparing for your exams. Bye!